IKEA is curious about the creative explosion taking place all over Africa. In a collaboration with Design in Daba, and leading designers, architects and creatives from seven countries across the continent, a collection around modern urban rituals will be created. Overalt will be available in 2019. So, Everalt means everywhere in Swedish, and this, this collaboration takes place almost everywhere in the great continent of Africa. Now, that's a really huge project. How is everything turning out? I think it's turning out great, actually, and you're going to be part of seeing that because we have the team here in Elmult this very week working on the project on yeah. site. So we actually have joining us right now, Issa Diabate, welcome, architect from Ivory Coast. Hello, welcome. Please have a seat. We can sit down. Yeah, you can come closer. It's fine. Yeah. Yeah. You want to be over there? It's fine. He likes that corner. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I know a key part in this project is investigating urban rituals. What does that mean? Can you tell us about that? Well, what's interesting about investigating urban rituals is the fact that um, African cities are transforming uh, as, at, at the moment. And the rituals that we're used to are actually moving into a, a different direction. I mean, we're now related to the IT world. Everything that happens in the world also happens in the continent at the same time. So that is definitely having a certain impact on the rituals that we're having. And it's, it would be interesting to uh, sort of re-explore those rituals in the light of uh, today. Yes. And how, what do you feel about this, urban rituals? I think it's actually the, the way that we work with this collection has been fabulous. We met the first time here in Elmult and coming up with a topic of, of taking on modern urban rituals together. This is something that we want to take on and, and work with. And I find it so interesting, people talk about it, and sometimes we're sloppy about it too, to talk about like the African collection. Mm. But Africa is actually a continent mm. containing of a lot of countries, and it's the same thing with the creatives who's working in this collection. It's like we're coming from seven different countries, eight if you include Sweden, and uh, then uh, it's uh, 12 different artists who's working on it in very different disciplines. So it's illustrators, it's architects, it's uh, fashion designers and it's also uh, product designers mm. or furniture designers. So this melting pot of creativity, I think that's really interesting. Yeah. So what is your specific project in this, Issa? Well, I'm working on two things. Uh, one thing is a house, a modular house that can, be, uh, that can start with one unit and mm. expand into uh, multiple units. Could go from one room to a proper house, and uh, this structure should be um, able to be used for um, other purposes, you know, such as um, the pavilion that we built in Cape Town uh, for Design in Daba. And at the same time, I'm also working on the line of uh, furniture that is um, supposed to be um, uh, made out of plywood uh, with uh, just cutouts and no uh, other type of fixtures, and that locks uh, together. And um, with the same principle, we could expand and uh, maybe uh, from a chair to a table to uh, shelves. Uh, so that's what and, we're doing. And I think it was a, that's one of the ideas that they actually came up with also to, to, to do the designs in a way so they could be produced locally. So yes. if you don't have access to IKEA, you could still do the stuff if you have the drawings. That's another line of thinking because there is not very many IKEAs in Africa yet. No, and, and that's actually a very good uh, way to respond to the lack of IKEA furniture sh uh, uh, shops in, on, on the continent, is the fact that you can still have access to IKEA stuff without necessarily having to go to an IKEA uh, store. And what I think is interesting uh, out of that process is that um, depending on where uh, those uh, objects are built, you know, they can take on different personalities. If you um, uh, download the drawings in, in West Africa and built, out, uh, built from those drawings, um, the objects will probably be very different than uh, uh, if you download uh, the drawings in, in China or uh, in, in South America, for instance. And I'm quite curious to see how those different interpretations of the drawing can actually uh, bring something uh, richer to the collection. Yeah, of course. So what have you guys learned from one another in the, pro in the project, of course, and with IKEA? Well, uh, what has been interesting with the collaboration with IKEA is the fact that I sort of realized that there is not much difference in, in terms of approach you know, from um, an African designer's point of view than, than from IKEA's point of view, which is to make um, the objects quite democratic and available to as many people as possible. 
And um, I guess what's, uh, what we can take from IKEA is all of the engineering and um, all of the exper ex experience you know, that has to do with um, uh, produce, producing on an industrial level. And um, we can, matching that, actually matching that with what we do at home, we can actually come up with uh, something quite interesting and, and quite viable to the needs of, uh, of the world today. Great. I know we have an example here right now, actually. Can you tell us about this bag? I think everyone got one in here. Yeah. Can you show us, Yeah, Marcus? you got one. And the story of this bag, this is actually something that we did when the, we had our workshop. Here, you know, the Fracta bag, of course, we love it. All, everybody loves it right now. Maybe too many loves it, I don't know. <laughs> it's kind of iconic. Uh, but uh, for the workshop we did there, we have the two girls uh, representing Reform Studio from out of Egypt. They came up with the glorious idea of producing a Fracta bag out of uh, waste from uh, uh, crisps uh, packaging, actually. Mm. So this is the waste from, from crisps, crisps bags mm. that we use to do the Fracta bag. And it's done, uh, uh, it's produced in, in uh, Egypt now in their own factory in this small scale. So we're bringing it in, hopefully, into the collection. And I think it's a lovely story, too. It's too. great. It and this is great. also one of the things that I learned from, from working together with you guys is actually the social awareness that is so prominent in your ways of designing and also for architecture, for, for fashion and for anything you do. This this sense of social awareness Definitely. and how that makes the people move. I think that's, that's nice. Yeah. So what is the dream outcome of this collaboration for you? Well, um, I'm certainly very excited to um, uh, be participating in this thing and, and hopefully um, this collection sort of spreads around the world and we can get some response from it, but also uh, bring something uh, to the world in, in terms of uh, the process of design. Of course, we come from very different countries and we come from very different backgrounds and it's quite interesting to see already amongst ourselves uh, how we can complement each other and, and actually benefit and, and get en enriched by other people processes. So I'm quite excited uh, and, I'm, and I'm quite eager to see how that translates into a collection. And, yeah. And, yeah. What do you say, Marcus? I think it's actually to be able to, to help out to spread the raw talent of the creative business of Africa to the rest of the world. Absolutely. That's one of the dream outcomes for me. The, the other part for, for us at IKEA would, of course, be to, to be able to, to produce some of the things that we do together in Africa and also to maybe find a way to retail all over Africa for the future. So let's look into that. Yeah, great. Yeah. So now, what is happening now? You know that. Uh, no, I think it's uh, actually time to uh, stand up yeah? and... Uh, Not just us. Do some work, isn't it, huh, Issa? Yeah. You, it is. you have a lot to do. You shouldn't hang around here. Actually, it's time to work. <laughs> I know for a fact that you have your friends over there by the, the uh, prototype shop. You see the door there? Are they there? I huh? see them, yeah. The Everald hey. gang? Yeah, wave to us. Great. <laughs> so I suggest that you join them and go to the prototype shop, start off working, because I'm coming there and see if you work in the right way. Definitely. And <laughs> you all can join them, yes. <laughs> then I would urge you guys also to... Uh, Go in there, because there is a lot of things happening in the prototype shop, and it's for real. It's not like praying pretense. It's the way that we work. We want to be on the factory floor. We want to work for real. So meet our skilled craftsmen over there. People are running. Amazing. Uh, so thank you very much, Issa. Thank Best you. of luck. Thank, thank, you. You, thank you for coming. You.